<laughs> I cannot believe this. Sir is here. Sir, good evening. Uh, good evening. Sir, they would like to know your name. Oh, my name is John Ahin. Mr. Ahin. Yes, please. I'm so amazed. Is a hunter man and agree school? No. Do you do agree here? We don't do agree here. We don't do agree as a program. But you have a school farm, Maze. Oh, it's not for the school. Ah, it's not for the school. Eh? Oh, it, it's, it's for the school. It's the initiative of the headmistress. So she said if that's the case, then she wants to do small farming to supplement whatever the uh, Ghana Education Service or Buffer Stock will bring. As a result of that, we started with the plantation of maize. Okay. Um, then the maize also, we have uh, plantain inside. Then we are also doing uh, vegetable, where we have nursed the, the pepper mm. seed, but it's not ready yet. Then we have palm fruit, which we are planting at the boundaries of the school block, so that that one will be used to feed the student in the due course. You know, uh, palm fruit takes about three to four years mm. to mature. So by that time, then we can also get that one to, even though we are protecting the boundaries of the school, then we are using that one also to feed the student. Over here, you are practicing mess cropping. We are, no, the, yeah, this one is mess cropping. Mess cropping. Yeah, this one is mess cropping. So this maize is on how many acres of land? Oh, this is one and a half acre. The one maize and a half? One and a half acre. Have you mm. harvested some yet? No, we have not harvested some yet. This is the first, they say, no, Ghana, we have two seasons. And this mm. is the first season. So you see, it's, it's ripe. Very? Yeah, it's ripe. So within one or two weeks, we will harvest it and do the replanting against the October season also. Awesome. So this, this is not an agree school. How are you able to get a student to support the work? You know, even though it's not a good uh, school, we have some people who are interested. Then uh, we are using, the student. Yes, we are using some of the laborers also okay. when they are free. Then we come here to come and help so that the crops will do well. Because at the end of the day, it will benefit them, they the student. Okay. Is this the only plantation you have around here? The maize? Yeah, this, this is the maize plantation. We, maize, we have small one in front of the science block. Mm. That place we have cocoa yam so that you can get the leaves which is known as the contumbri, mm. also to feed the student. So when you go there, you see that one also there. Amazing. Yeah, the cocoa yam to get the, the leaves also to feed them. Is this something that you encourage other schools to be a part of? Yes, even people are not going into agriculture. So a time is coming that you get the money, but you don't get the, the food stuffs yourselves. Mm. So if you plant some, some time to come, it's going to supplement whatever the government will bring. So Amazing. that the school too can be self-reliant. Because we can't rely on the government always for the supply of the food. Awesome. So it's less or more like operation feed yourself. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. So the administrators encourage us to do. And we have we have discovered another area that we developed. You see this particular bush also. This mm. place was like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So she says she, the next time she's going to expand it by clearing the bush there. Awesome. So we are using all the we are clearing all the bushes so that we can plant the crops there. So that next time it will be in a light scale. You see it more than what you're having now. <laughs> so it's really interesting because here, this, this is not an agree school, <laughs> but they'll be able to come up with such uh, a maize plantation. And of course, if it is not an agree school, it means you certainly wouldn't have students who are into agriculture or farming, but He's saying that even some of the students are interested in the divorce. Of course, there's also the agri time where the regional education director requests that every school takes 20 minutes to visit a farm and then do things. And I mean, that's what the students are doing over here. So if a school that, is, that has nothing to do with agri has been able to come up with such a plantation, then I think um, you that are into agri can do something way better than this. This video is actually to um show you and to motivate you that you can do something bigger than this and it will go a long way to help the schools and even ease the burden on the government and i know the government supplies food to the schools aside that you don't do agri as a program here why do you have a farm Interesting. <laughs> we have a farm because we should have a farm because we are Ghanaians. because we are also going alongside the advocacy of the regional director oh, at okay. least no matter what we have land that we haven't developed mm. uh, so we could start something 
to support and augment what the government is doing. And it's, it's true, we have a lot of fertile lands around. We don't do agri, at least, I mean, the small, small gardening people do behind their houses. That's what we are also doing. Of course, based on the encouragement from the regional director. In fact, it was as a result of her strong push, because we were wondering, being girls and looking at the nature of our, our land, because we have that undulating the hill of light. landscape. Yes. And so we were wondering, even if it's a flat land, using girls to that extent, how effective what that was going to be. But um, with her push and the encouragement, and they're looking at other sister schools, what they've been able to do, we mm. thought that something could be done still. And so we made use of the fertile land around, and we started the corn. We started some pepper, some tomatoes, and cochlea. So very soon you see them also coming up. Awesome. Adam, have you... Have you been able to farm enough to feed the students no, before? No, not to or feed sold them. Some? No, not. We have just started. We are here to harvest the first um, crop, what we planted. Mm. Yeah, we are here to, I think, any moment from now, we're going to harvest the, the corn, dry it, and make it into corn dough. Then we'll start using it, at least. If not for anything, um, for staff, for certain categories of students, because sometimes we have certain special diets that we need to pay attention to, so we could use that to, to, to fix that issue. Now, Madam, some, some schools wish they could do this, but they feel like they don't have the kind of money you have to do their farm. Oh, what kind of money? <laughs> well, I don't know what they mean, but we didn't really spend much. In fact, at a point, the original director gave us some, should I say, a donation of some um, corn to plant. And then we just added a little to it. Um, we also solicited help from the old student to prepare the land. Okay. And it wasn't that much. And so, well, I don't know, maybe this is on a very vast land, and so they are looking at the quantum of money. But we didn't spend that much mm. to do what we are doing. Um, we use our laborers. Sometimes we go in for the prisoners, depend on the nature of work. Okay. And then it's, you know, prisoners, there is not a contract that you have with them they do the work, you give them something. And so that is exactly what we did, yes. So for me, so far as I'm concerned, um, well, we didn't spend, I don't, I, don't, I don't know the terms of reference to mm. say that kind of money. So we may have to go back to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you think Operation Feed Yourself is possible, generally, among the oh, schools in the country? It is possible if we have the needed land, the size of land. Because even if we can't use our students, um, we could supplement with prisoners, sometimes our laborers, or certain groups of people mm. that we can contract. And then upon agreements, we pay them something. And PTA is there. I mean, they, they can know they will be ready to support. So it's possible. Uh, uh, will it be a good idea for, let's say, the government to maybe the education ministry to donate, um, I mean, give some sort of amount to all the schools who want to get into farming. Maybe like one city, one city to all the schools who want to get into farming to support their farming. Oh, they can, but remember, um, they are doing already a lot. Free SHS, they pay for everything. <laughs> so it's difficult for me to say, yes, it's doable. They're able to do that. But looking at already what they've started, I think that other stakeholders can also pick it up. Awesome. And support. Amazing. My time here with the headmistress of a hunterman. Is it a hunt? Okay, a hunt. A hunterman. They say girls. I shouldn't say a hunterman. No, they are hunterman girls. I don't know who said that. But as far as you are here, it's a hunterman <laughs> girls. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>